Welcome back to Stasis. We've just arrived in maintenance, so let's take a look around. Is it a PDA? Personal logs of A. Brian. Flight engineer, first class. Alright, here's the first entry. Andrew here. It's about uh, 6 a.m. I'm absolutely exhausted. So this is the most advanced scientific research ship in existence, huh? Bullshit. I've been here for only three months, and now I know why the previous guy quit. Leisure equipment, steam vents, circuit breakers... Everything has at least one serious design flaw. Not only are the cooling systems capable of failing, they're capable of at least four different types of fault. And I can only spot two of them in advance. The ship's been running for 50 years, and nobody bothered to do any upgrades. Bottom line, the casings are shoddy, and they're going to need months of work to make them 100% safe. I've also pulled a muscle on my shoulder trying to rotate the pressure release valve. The bastard needs to be turned three goddamn times. Three times. Alright, gotcha. I should probably write that down, because I'm probably going to have to do that in a couple minutes. Alright, three times. Simmons volunteered to be a research subject, and something has been off them since he got back from the labs. I don't want to report him to security, but I'll keep an eye on him. Fucking research departments. Can't they use monkeys like everyone else? CSEC sent me down to the ass end of the ship to fix the fluid storage vats. Again. Not too long ago, other vats malfunctioned and started spraying that acidic shit all over the place. The bulkheads locked down, and the entire maintenance crew dissolved. They only found teeth. I'm not going home in a jar, so I've killed the security system's lockdown. If that thing so much as pisses that acid in my direction, the system will reset all the security procedures. Safety first. <laughs> Jesus. Acidic shit. And the entire maintenance crew dissolved. Jesus. What a way to go. Died due to dissolution. If you're not part of the solution, you just haven't dissolved yet. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm a little bit confused, uh, though. Other vats malfunctioned and started spraying that acidic shit all over the place. So where did the acidic shit come from? The vats? What are the vats? The fluid storage vats. Why are they storing acidic shit? Hmm. Well, anyway. I guess that's kind of besides the point. The empty barcoded crates have been stacked untightly against the wall. Fluid tanks. So these are the tanks full of acidic shit. The sound of bubbling liquid resonates inside the huge fluid storage tanks. System failure screen. It says, system failure, please contact A. Brian, engineer level 1. I think Brian dissolved or got eaten along with the rest of them. Yep, system failure. System failure. And... System failure. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm missing something from in here. Like a tool or something. I mean, coming into maintenance must be something I have to do, right? Masses of pipes and wires lead from the back of the fluid storage containers into the large openings in the wall. Oh. 
Alright, so if some acid comes out, the system will reset all the security procedures, which I'm guessing is what I need to have happen, right? I just- oh my god, I just read this- this thing tap- uh, taped to this PDA right here. Free... Juca for every 20 punches. I think I saw an advertisement for that drink outside. And it says, only valid at the Titty Twister. What the fuck kind of a name is that? Titty Twister. Is that a strip club, or <laughs> what? Alright, what do I have? A dowel, a shard, and a syringe. So I believe in the storage... No, I don't think it's the storage tanks. I think it's in product storage. I need to cause... Um, I need to, like, reset the system by causing a leak or something. I don't suppose I can hmm. stab these. Maybe... No. Hmm. And this is still stuck, so I still don't have the strength to do this, right? Come on, old man. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Ah, there you go. <sighs> Alright, so the lock said turn it three times, so that's one. Uh, oh, wait. Oh. What? It just needs to be turned once? Or did, did he mean you have to turn it three times to get it to turn in the first place? But that doesn't make any sense, because that would depend on your strength. I- what? I'm- okay, whatever. Alright, so, um... What did that do? Nothing in here. Yeah, seriously, what did that do? I don't- I don't actually know what that did. Aha! Uh -huh. You know what? I think I have it. Okay, so I need to make a leak in the storage tanks to reset the security system, right? And I don't have anything near strong enough to do that. So one thing I do have, or at least one thing that I could potentially get, is the neural drill on the end of this robotic surgeon arm. However, the problem is it's malfunctioning and every time I try to take it, it just retracts. So you know what I think I need to do? I think I need to make it extend. And then I think I need to turn off the power so that it can't retract. Now it shouldn't have the power so it shouldn't be able to retract. There we go. I still have absolutely no idea what turning that pressure relief relief valve actually did. Where was the pressure? What did, what did that do? It seems to have done nothing for the moment, as far as I can tell. Okay, now I'm not sure if I need to make the leak in here, or in the main storage tanks. But since we're here, let's try this. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, I'm guessing that's a no. I can't see it working like that. Nope. Okay, main storage tanks. Actually, just how powerful is this drill? Can I use it on, like, the door? No. No, that won't work. Dang. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, this should do the trick, I think. Come on. There we go. Attention. System rebooted. Air scrubbers activated. Good news. Excuse me. All right, that should do the trick. Mhm. Mm no longer on lockdown. The rebooted information terminal softly hums. I guess, pea storage too. <laughs> There's elevator music. Not really in the mood for that. Attention. Product Storage 2. Access to Product Storage 2 is denied until further notice. Well, I guess that's the end of that. Well, this one's mostly broken off, but it starts with a P and then it's got a dash, so I think this is P Storage 3. Broken. Alright. Lobby one. What are those noises? Once again, that didn't really sound human. Attention. Service Platform 1. Please check in with the duty officer before engaging with any products. The room on the other side of the observation portal has a single bed in the center, surrounded by life support machinery. So this is uh, a place that they store the products, I guess, at some point. Life support machinery. Is this where they store the products after they've been taken out of stasis and they've perhaps had their organs partially harvested? And they keep them on life support, keeping the other organs fresh, I guess? Beyond the portal stands an empty room containing a single chair. Children's toys lie... Oh, wait a minute. I want to read that. Children's toys lie in the room seen through the observation portal. A teddy bear is soaked in a red fluid, its matted hair plastered to the hard metal floor. A teddy bear. I mean, you know, a teddy bear is a pretty common thing, but I do know that Becca had a teddy bear. Was Becca in that room? It's soaked in blood. That can't be a good thing. It's a body. My first actual body. Dirt cakes the inside. Smeared blood makes it impossible to see into the room beyond. Clara Daniels, General Nurse, Biome Labs. Security level one. Well, it looks like I've got access to her whole, like, PDA. Okay, which one... 
I, I get so confused. Is it the bottom the oldest one, or is the top the oldest one? New job. Work in product storage. Okay, so the top is definitely the oldest. Right? Yeah, okay. So, new job. When Mike suggested I go and work in product storage, I honestly thought he was nuts. I mean, the pay is great and the hours are fantastic, but the job, well, I think it'll be boring. Apparently the only time a nurse is ever needed is when they crack a stasis tube open, which Robert, the admin officer, said hardly ever happens. Nine times out of ten, they just take the pods directly to the different projects. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to open one soon. Tomorrow? I actually get to do some work that doesn't involve monitoring vital signs. We're opening a pod for Dr. Isaacs in Project Kitchen Knife. They said they need a specimen who is fully awake. These pods are filled with prisoners and drifters. They had their chance at a productive life and ruined it all. Wait a minute. <gasps> what? These pods are filled with prisoners and drifters. She's basically saying they deserved it. They're prisoners and drifters. They had their chance to have a good life. They ruined it, so fuck them. Let's just use them as experimental pigs and harvest their organs. Except there's not even... I mean... <laughs> let's just... Not even address the question of whether prisoners and drifters deserve that fate, which they obviously don't, but let's just say that they do. It's not even true that they're prisoners and drifters. I mean, just look at the, the logs. Talking about where they got the products from, right? Some from a luxury liner, some from escape pods. I mean, Jesus. So I guess she had been lied to. Yesterday was much harder than I'd imagined. When we opened the pod, the woman inside had no idea where she was. I'm aware that long-term stasis can cause disorientation, but she kept screaming for her husband, saying they were on their way to holiday on Europa. The doctor quickly sedated her and gave her a vocal cord numbing agent to stop the screaming. I mean, she was obviously lying about being a holiday maker. These drifters will say anything to get out of this situation. Uh, is that Rebecca, John's wife? I think that was Rebecca. God, it seems really unlikely that Rebecca or Becca are alive. Really unlikely. We got another two products in this morning. Transfers from a penal colony on Earth. I asked to have a look at their files hoping that would make this a little easier, but I was told that all records are sealed. I had to delete the last few logs. I read them over again, but they were just too painful. I can still hear the crying of the last man we thought out. He didn't even scream. He sat on the bed, crying, until the doctors came in. They tagged him and took him down to the labs. He didn't even scream. Yesterday, we opened up a pod with a ten-year-old boy in it. There must have been some sort of mistake. Even if he was a drifter, he's a child. His name is Neil. He's in rehabilitation downstairs. I asked to go and visit him, but I was told that it would be easier for me if I just let things be. I want out of product storage. I requested a transfer to the biomes. I think hydroponics will clear will cheer me up. The pay isn't as good, but at least I'll be able to sleep at night. Would you be able to sleep at night? I mean, not being directly involved would certainly help, but given the things she's seen, I mean, she knows that's going to be going on every day while she works in hydroponics. Could you seriously sleep at night, knowing that that's going on? I couldn't. I heard the department heads talking about getting something from product storage. They already have four unopened stasis pods in the lab, but they're looking for a subject that can respond immediately. 
This isn't right. They're using products from product storage too. I thought this was just a hydroponics bay. What the hell would they need human specimens for? Sarah told me that there are more children in the rehabilitation centers under product storage. I'm going there tonight. These security lockdowns have been happening more frequently. I'm going to use them to my advantage. Tomorrow, I'm going to get those kids out of here. I'm leaving these entries on this PDA so that if I disappear, you'll know what happened. Whoever's reading this, you need to help. Please, help those children. I think it's too late. Alright, so is that all that's on her? Yep, looks like it. An adult-sized body bag lies abandoned on the floor. It appears to be full. Oh god, are you gonna open it? Oh, what the fuck? Security holograms are still working. What was that? What's a security hologram? That wasn't pleasant. Just activated out of the blue, huh? Just wanted to show me how she died? Jesus. I, I was too busy freaking out to even look at how she actually died. How, how did she die? <laughs> Can I see it again? I don't think I want to. <sighs> the airtight enclosure of the body bag has made it difficult to judge how long this corpse has been lying here. Oh my god, I can open the fucking children's body bags? <laughs> the two child-sized body bags lie very close to one another, as if for warmth. Alright, here we go. Not gonna show me security <laughs> again, are you? Like this. I need to get to Rebecca. The body of a child. You almost feel guilty with the flood of relief when you realize it's not your own. I have to open these, I have to know. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. There's something here. Judging from the toe tag, this body has already been processed by some departmental facility. Ooh, what was that? Electronic toe tag. What can I do with that? Well, maybe I can scan it somewhere and get the information from it? Pull up their file or something? Oh, biometric terminal. Biometric access door requires a handprint to unlock it. Don't tell me that's what the glass is for. Do I have to cut off someone's hand? Fuck. I'm guessing I don't have access. Attention. Biometric handprint not recognized. The mortuary requires level 5 security access. Level 5. Well, you're only level 1. Yeah, and I'm sure the biome lab is not... Yeah, not a very high security place. Uh... I'm gonna try to use it on you anyway. Hmm. No, okay, let's not do that. Although John sounded strangely excited about the idea. He's like, hmm, yeah, maybe we should cut off her hand.
What about you? You look like a skeleton. These don't go well together. No. No, they don't. Yeah, what do I do with this tag? I really don't know. Let's go. Oh my god. People are still... dying. I can hear them. But it seems like everybody has been, been dead for so long, how can there still be people alive? It's just getting colder. Hello? Is someone there? Hmm? Okay, someone's alive. Where did that come from, though? How can I talk to them? I don't have a radio. Where did that come from? Was that just a shipwide broadcast? Uh. Dead body. That doesn't look dead. Exposed human fat catches the light as blood flows freely onto the cold metal floor. The static of a radio signal and a faint voice echo out from under the corpse. Why is it wriggling? Holy mother of... Let me know if you can go on. That's that must be Yuri. Oh god. Rerouting radio signal through cloud suit. Uh, uh, hello? Is anyone there? Who is this? Identify yourself. My um my my name is is John Mar Marachek. Uh, I'm John? How did never mind, it's Yuri there. I'm sorry. He's been... He's dead. Shit! Listen to me, John! No, wait. Who are you? My name is Taya Hensley. I'm a botanist in hydroponics. I know you have questions, but right now, you need to get to the trap. I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me what the hell is going on. Because you're still there. Get to the trap and I'll tell you everything. Yeah, and given that the blood is still flowing, this just happened. So, let's go, now. Oh. Wait, you want me to go do the dram? Cause that's where that shadow just passed from. Okay, let's go. Do not move. Attention. Tram terminal access will be granted once biological containment protocols have completed. Tell me where I am. Wait, hey, aren't you a crew member? A crew member? No. Oh, I don't know how I got to this place. What's the last thing you recall? Uh, but my wife and daughter, we, we, we were on our way to Titan. And then I woke up here. That's it. I can't remember anything else. I heard rumors of Kane Corporation hijacking civilian transports and bringing them here. Where is here? The Groom Lake. It's a medical research ship. But Kane, why would they need a ship for research? They have dozens of facilities. Human experimentation. Fringe studies. Here, they can do, well, anything. What? My wife, my daughter. I need to find them. Now. Help you, John. But first, you need to get to the tram. Get moving. Warning. Biological scans are inconclusive. Okay. Inconclusive. I'm still allowed to pass. That's good. But why are they inconclusive? 
I hope there isn't something growing inside me or something like that. Well, I can just hop on the tram, but I wanted to check out this computer terminal over here. Whoa. Okay, so this system actually has a GUI, unlike pretty much everything else. I don't really understand what I'm looking at, though. Tram cannot change tracks, full power level, below 60. Alright, low power. Recharge tram. Charging system inactive. Well, bam. Alright. Well, I can't change the lines, but can I at least actually use this? Alright, so I can recharge it if I get the charging station back up and working. Not surprisingly, not surprisingly, the controls don't do much without power. Dang. Trams. The tram's offer of ample seating feels perverse at the moment. Alright, so where's the charging station? It's gotta be like this thing connected to the back of the tram, right? Oh, wait, wait, what was that? Closed breaker box. Oh, wow, I almost totally missed that. That's... That is really hard to see. Yeah, these are actually things you can do stuff with. These tiny little... These tiny little boxes on both sides of the monitor. Tram charging system is written across the front of the metal box. A sturdy metal lock sits on the side of the cover, keeping the breaker box closed. Well, shit. What about this one? Tram line breaker written across the front. Also, also closed and locked. Okay, what about my drill? Perfect. Damn, that's not gonna work. Oh, never mind. Wait, why isn't that gonna work? Could you elaborate? What about the other one? Damn, that's not gonna work. You can puncture a hole in a storage tank with that thing, but not bust through a lock. Actually, I guess that kind of makes sense, depending on the type of lock. It is just a drill, after all. Hmm. I don't think a wet, dirty towel is going to help me get inside the breaker box. I don't think this will fit. Glass sure won't work. Oh, Jesus, that sound. Okay, so I need to look around for an object. Yeah. Which means I need to go towards the screams, I think. Why are you still twitching? Oh my god. Can I like... I mean, it says you're dead, but you don't look dead. Can I put you out of your misery or something? Oh, wait a minute. Oh god. 
Security level 5. Do you know what that means? I need Yuri's hand. Oh, fuck me. <coughs> oh, <wait. laughs> well, he stopped twitching. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I, like, wrap that in the towel? That's just crazy. No, I don't think that is, because right now it's bleeding ev All right, fine, whatever. Well, that means we gotta go all the way back. Let's walk around and vomit. <laughs> Let's avoid the vomit, but don't worry about the bloody hand bleeding out in my inventory. <laughs> Jesus. Those are obviously locked, but what about this? No. Okay. Uh. We would mind you that this is a non-smoking platform. Did something just reply on the other side of the door? A flickering light highlights the scratches on the elevator door. Some of the scratches look like they were made by bare nails across the paint. Let's knock again. Here we go. Access granted. Welcome, Yuri Linov. The morgue. What am I going to find in here? I mean, obviously bodies, but... Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> This whole place looks like I could use a good de-icing, though. It's supposed to be cold, but I don't think it's supposed to be icy like this. Yeah, I guess this is what happens when you don't maintain a place for... What? Years? It's probably been years, hasn't it? It feels like it's been years. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to check out the mortuary and try to find a way to get the tram up and going. <laughs>